Okay, what we're looking at here is an analogic DC voltage standard, model AN3100. And uh, this standard will provide you with uh, five decades of switch selectable voltages down to a hundredth of a microvolt. This makes it uh, an extremely usable uh, uh, calibration unit and test unit for uh, three and a half and four and a half digit meters. The four and a half digit would get you down to the hundred microvolt level, so I mean it's a one to one match for that. Um, would be usable for any other meter as well, five and a half or six and a half digits, but uh, you wouldn't be able to calibrate the last one or two digits using this unit then. Uh, However, uh, it's also quite usable for scopes. Um, there's very, very few scopes, if any, that uh, would require that the kind of precision this thing is capable of, so it would be more than adequate for the, for the DC ranges uh, that it covers. It goes from uh, 100 microvolts up to 11.111 uh, volts. So. Uh, it is in good shape, uh, some signs of wear, some minor scratches, abrasions, but the handle is intact, the stand is intact, the rubber feet are intact, everything functions. It uh, <coughs> has a uh, millivolt output. <coughs> for an analog connection. <coughs> Switch selectable voltage input. And as you can see it's in very good shape. Was owned by a company called ADAC, if that's of any interest to you. It means nothing to me. Didn't bother to research it. Um, we're going to put it through its paces here and uh, verify that it is indeed accurate. I have verified it against my Fluke 343A and I'm satisfied. I will then also verify it using a uh, calibrated four and a half digit meter. Keithley 179A has nice bright readout so it'll be easy for us to uh, see the response. Get the cords out of the way here. Connections. Check our zero. And we should be ready to go. Get it out of the way. Uh, I'll take a moment to mention something here. This thing can produce any combination of of uh, decades here so you could provide say 11.1111 volt and indeed you would get very close to that output but if you want to maximize your precision for calibration purposes I'd suggest you run each decade individually and then you won't wind up with any cumulative error and the reason for that is if you're trying to provide an output that is accurate to a hundred microvolts as this first step would do that's a difficult task in itself but then if you're trying to add five uh, additional ranges of voltage to it and still maintain that hundred microvolts so that you could then provide 1.0001 volts say for out for an output now you're asking that that one volt output adds nothing in the uh, in additional microvolts to the to the system, so you're compounding your error. So if you want to maximize it, use the decades one at a time. And that's what I'm going to take you through, and then we'll go ahead and do a combination just to show you that it it is accurate anyway. Um, so right now we have uh, we've achieved a zero. Let's go to 100 microvolts, 200, 300, 400, 500, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
There we go, not a problem. All right, let's do, um, this would be a thousand microvolts. So this would be one millivolt, in other words. One millivolt, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then back down. Hundredth of a volt, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tenth of a volt, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> and then finally, uh, a volt. But let's uh, let's change scales now because we're going to be exceeding. After one step, we'll exceed our range. There's one volt. Two volts, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go ahead and do a combination here. Eleven point one 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 with an account. So as you can see the unit functions and functions well. It will come with a manual for the uh, analogic and um, all right, by the way we can also work this in neg negative as well. Switching to the negative position, we'll get the negative voltage. Here's 10 microvolts, or excuse me, 100 microvolts, negative. Negative 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. So you have your choice, positive or negative. Center zero was off. And... Uh, you have the common, the output, you have a, uh, a ground, and that would be it. So um, good luck on your bidding. Thank you for listening. Bye.